everybody, this is Marilu. Welcome back to Let's Play Sakura Shrine Girls. We're on part 11. Um, and last time we were trying to kind of reconcile um, Kayu and... Kayo, sorry, and Nyoko um, from fighting so much. And they were like, it's not working out so well. Anyway, and Kayo said that she wants to go somewhere nice. So we're taking her somewhere nice. And that's where we're going. So we will go, we'll go somewhere nice. Kayo doesn't respond. She quietly walks up to me and grips my hand. Oh. Um. Just. <clears throat> pardon me. I have something in my throat. Just. Just for today, okay? Okay, just for today. Thank you. I couldn't really think of much on short notice, so I ended up visiting a shop. We walk out with arms full of treats. What is all this, Toru? Snacks. Tons of them. Ooh, Japanese snacks. I love Japanese snacks. All of these strangely colored boxes that they are stored in. I have never seen, I have seen many of such things around school, but I've never really understood their purpose. Just how much have you been paying attention then? I suppose I could have done a better job of that. I open up a patch of, package of dried sea. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of dried sea. Try this. She sniffs it curiously, the nibbles on its end. Her face turns really sour. That's kind of how I feel with dried seaweed. This is not pleasing to my tastes. I would prefer not to sample any more of that. What is it? Seaweed. Seaweed? You mean sea plants? Yes. Come to think of it, of course a cat wouldn't enjoy something like that. Maybe I could appeal her to a sweet tooth instead. I pull a small packet of biscuits. Try one of these then. Her tail is wagging, showing disapproval, but she slowly pat reaches out and pulls one out. She sniffs it as well. Hmm. The smell of this one is unusual. She nibbles on it. That, that is surprisingly present. Pleasant. Surprisingly <laughs> pleasant. <laughs> it looks like you enjoy sweet things then. Feel free to have as many as you like. Please, do not let me be so unrestrained right now. Even though she says that, she's reaching into the packet and pulling out a whole handful of them. Without a care in the world, she happily devours them. Positively delicious. Not quite as good as sweet curry made by your grandfather, but I am very fond of these treats you have shown me. They're nice to have once in a while, but make sure you don't get in the habit of eating them whenever you're stressed. Yes, I imagine that can be quite fattening if I'm not careful. What else do you have to show me? I hand her a bottle of green tea. I like this brand the best. Tea, is it? I remember they used to serve a lot of it in our house. Really? They have tea in the beyond? The beyond, to some, to some extent, does reflect, does reflect your world, as far as I know. But who knows? She takes the bottle from me. For a moment, she looks blankly at it. How are you supposed to open it? I twist the top off and hand it to her. Oh, I see how it works now. How embarrassing. Hey, I didn't know how to tie my shoelaces for years. Not knowing how everything works straight away isn't something to be ashamed of. I, I agree. Like, sometimes... Unless someone shows you how something works for the first time, how are you supposed to know how something works unless someone shows you? It doesn't make you dumb, it makes you ignorant, until someone shows you how something- anyway, this is just a rant I have, like, how am I supposed- like, you hand me something and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? And they're like, oh, don't you know how to do this? And I'm like, no one's ever shown me before, how would I know? So, little rant of mine. Right, thank you. She takes a deep sip from the bottle. It certainly does taste like proper tea, yet there seems to be many bottles of it inside that shop. The wonders of mass production. The tea can, the tea can remain fresh for a very long time if you keep it chilled. How convenient. The world does have some interesting things about it. She takes another deep sip. I never thought about serving it cold before. It is very refreshing. Yeah, it's great when you're tired and just want something to drink. It's good for you too, so there's really no so there really isn't much of a downside. Hmm. Wait. What's with that look on Kyle's face? Hey Toru. Hey? Isn't that a bit informal? What do you think of me? What do you mean? Do you find me attractive? Why are you asking me some this some asking something so suddenly? She leans in further, her eyes looking a bit dazed. Pushing up her boobs? <laughs> She firmly grabs her breasts with her hands, cupping both of them. Am I, Toru? They told us all about attract how attraction works in your world. 
They say that men like to pay attention in certain things, like these. She squeezes them for a moment before easing her grip, letting them settle back into place. Her clevis spills a little bit out of the top of her shrine mu ma maiden uniform. What's even weirder is that her face is flushed, almost like, Toru, are you there? Do you like these things? Well, most men do th like things like that. It's, it's just part of who we are. Why are you asking me that? I know. I just felt like it. She stumbles a little bit. That's fun. <laughs> That's funny. I feel weird, Toru. Everything feels distant. She reaches out toward my face and gently rests on one of my cheeks. Why is my coordination so bad? I needed all my concentration to do that properly. I don't know. I don't know at all. She's fucking high. <laughs> She stumbles again, gently bumping into my chest. <laughs> Wait, Kyle, are you- Oh, she's drunk! How'd she get drunk? On tea? She's drunk on tea! How did this happen? I don't know. What is being drunk, anyway? My head feels all warm and fuzzy. Was it the tea? It must have been. And I don't really feel scared at the moment. Scared of what? Saying what I'm really thinking. Everyone expects me to be the good girl. To say the things that needed to be said for every formality and every ritual. Well, I say all that stuff is stupid. Why even bother with it? So, Nayoko is right then? So, do you think Nayoko has a point? Who cares about that silly snow cat? She can have as many opinions as she likes, but all of them mean nothing. Seeing the usual, usually refined and graceful Kai is stumbling around like this. Oh, sorry, I did that in her voice. Um, it's sh quite shocking to behold. Mm. She begins to rub her face into my chest. I like your scent, Toru. Do you? Yes, my nose is very sensitive. It's very comforting. Very warm. Almost like I'm sinking into a fluffy cloud. Are you sure she's not on, like, drugs? Because... How the hell would she get drunk off tea? It doesn't make any sense. I like being around you a lot, Toru. She looks like she's about to pass out on my chest. I want to take a nap right here and now. I can't help but notice how her chest is pressing up against mine. But even with that distraction, I better not lose my focus. You can't fall asleep even here, you know. Let me get you back to my house. That sounds fine. Take me there, Toru. I feel very tired all of a sudden. Leaning against me the entire time, I slowly walk Kayo back to my house. How am I going to explain this to Grandpa when I get back? Spirits can sometimes have unexpected reactions to certain- Oh, this is Grandpa. Spirits can sometimes have unexpected reactions to certain foods in our world. The tea they drink in the beyond is very different from the tea over here. But aren't they more or less human? Yeah, more or less. There are a couple things which don't quite mesh that well when they step into our world. As it turns out, green tea makes them grow. Grandpa seems somewhat amused by the whole situation. Just another hazard of being a priest, or don't worry about it, okay? I can feel my cheeks flush a bit as I reflect on it. Oh, don't tell me that she was hitting on you. D don't put it like that. She isn't herself right now. Oh, Toru, the thing about being drunk is that you're more honest with your feelings. For better or for worse, if I were to take a guess, she's starting to like you a lot. Probably more so than you bargained for. Nayoko won't be any different either. He's laughing to himself. My grandson might be starting a family sooner than I thought. Well, that's going to be a sight to see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Yes, I think they have some feelings like that. But you need to think about where you're going to fit into all this, right? Well, yeah, that's just how it is. Grandpa shrugs. I think you would better go check on her. I've got a few things I need to do around the house. Haven't pulled out those weeds yet? The problem with the damn things is they come back even if you pull them out. 
my back won't let me redig the whole area, so I'm just gonna have to put up with it. And anyway. oh, his fucking grandpa. Why does he have so many lines? Anyway, off you go, Toru. Let me know how it works out. At his behest, I head back to my room. There's no Kayo to be seen anywhere. She must have woken up and gone back to her shrine. I wonder how much she will remember while she's there. Taking a seat at my desk, I began to think about what grandma's, uh, Grandpa said. Am I really going to fall in love with one of them? That's a question I've been avoiding. Let's say that I do. What happens from there? Does that mean I'm going to settle in, ta in this town for the rest of my days? It's obvious that being a priest at the shrine is going to be a very long-term commitment, no matter what way you look at it. So what will happen from here? What should I do? Wh well, perhaps I will be able to travel or something. They told me I just need to be here so they have a beacon which will help them anchor themselves to this world. Once they're anchored to those shrines, does that mean I'm no longer needed? I'm not sure how that will make me feel. Well, it's something I can think about later. How much time has passed since I've arrived here? It's like feels like an eternity has passed. The days have gone so quick by so quickly I haven't even noticed. Is this what they mean when they say time flies? Kyle hasn't shown up since yesterday's incident. I think I know why. Hangovers are a pain to deal with. Even if she has a spirit, I imagine that what she's going through isn't particularly pleasant. Grandpa said that they are more or less human. So what exactly does the difference lie between them and us? Uh, it's too much to think about right now. It's just nice to lie down and look at the sky. I still haven't thought about what I'm going to do yet. Maybe I should drop by Kyle's shrine and make sure she's okay. The feeling of a hangover isn't a particularly pleasant one, especially if you're experiencing it for the first time. Wait a minute. I have a strange feeling that my peaceful time is about to be disrupted. Is this what they call a premonition? The door to the rooftop bursts open. Toru! I know you're up here! Nayoko, I had a feeling that you were going to turn up. Did you? Looks like you're becoming an even better medium. Do you know what happened to Kayo? It's a long story. And I'm surprised that you're worried about her. I it's not bad. I'm just curious, that's all. Right. She's not feel she's just not feeling well. Aw, it must be pretty bad. Even if I don't like her that much, it's never nice to see someone get sick. I'm glad to hear something like that from Nayoko. I know that she isn't a bad person. Kaya would be the same too. I think the source of their conflict just comes from being unable to understand each other. They've slowly been getting better, so I just need to keep providing opportunities for them to talk. Anyway, Toru, Nayoko slowly prowl prowls to me toward me. It's just you and me up here. You're all mine today. I turn. I think back on what I saw last time, and my face turns red as a rose. Oh, you're so cute, Toru. It's amazing how embarrassed you get. But even when you're all flustered like that, she comes even closer to me. You get this determined look on your face, and when you speak, you command respect. The spirits of this land will respect you. Believe me. Uh, that's all well and good, but you do you have to be so close? Here we go, she's pouting now. I'm being completely serious, you know. You're so cool when you start taking charge, Choru. Everything they said about your family is absolutely true. We have to get a reputation in the you must we must have quite a reputation in the beyond. You do, you really do. Every other house is jealous of us. I'm so lucky to have you as a priest, Choru. Kaya must feel the same as she does same as she does regarding that. You know, ever since I saw you, you've been telling me how special I am. But I don't think I've told you how amazing I think you are. Hey? Eh? What do you mean? Despite the problems we've had all along the way, the fact that you were willing to come all this way to another world completely unprepared, and knew full well that you were going to be stuck with someone who you don't get along with at all, you must be extremely determined. I was also told by Kayo that both of you went through a rigorous selection process in order to qualify for the Ascension Festival. So I think you're pretty amazing. Nayoko just looks at me. R really? I just got where I was by luck. I I'm not anything special, especially not in our house. I'm just a face in the crowd. There's no need for you to flatter me. You must be special, really. I mean, I know I, I know I said I really like Kayo, but I can't build some up and then just be like, fuck you. <laughs> like, I think she's. I don't... I don't think that's it somehow. Really, that's all there is to it. I'm not anything special at all. Really? There, 
must be something special about you if you're here. Only people who are most suited for the job end up here, don't they? That's how it usually works. That's how it usually works, I guess. Since the land reflects the emotions of the guardian spirits, we're out of time. <laughs> I'm gonna pause it there. Um, I don't know if it's a good spot to pause it, but you know, I can really pause it anywhere, so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Um, next time on Screw Trisaur Girls. Sorry, um, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to say next time on part 12. So, thank you for watching. Make sure to check out my channel for other videos I've done. Make sure if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment in the comments below. I will make sure to reply to you. And we'll see you next time in part 12? Are we on part 12? Yeah, we're on part 12. So, next time in part 12. And we'll see you then.